Welcome to this short presentation by the Coastal Academy. In this presentation, I will continue one of my previous presentations where I showed you the way we do the precedence diagram. Now we are going to put the information from the precedence diagram in the Gantt chart and in fact determine the schedule in a uh, time chart, the Gantt chart, and we will use that information to determine the cost of the project. We will look at the time phase cost and the cumulative cost or the S curve. On the table here, you find the early start, early finish, late start, and late finish of all the activities. We also found out which are the uh, activities which are on the critical path because those two values are the same. So we have B, D, G and H which are critical. Now let's draw these on the Gantt chart. A has a duration of 1. So we have here A. We have the cost which is 5 which we can put in there. B is critical, so I show it in red. Oh, excuse me. We show it in red. So we have three periods, which gives us this. Five, five, and five. Basically, what we did is to set the cost per period to a fixed value. So it's five, which makes it a little bit easier to do the calculations. Nevertheless, in reality, those costs can be completely different. C, a duration of two periods, going from one to two in the early start. So we have C here, five and five. Now we continue and we go, in fact, to activity D, which has a duration of one, but is on the critical path, so I have to put it in red. It's here, 5. Then we have activity E from 3 till 4. So we have E here, again with 5 and 5. Activity F is from 5 till 6. It's not critical, so we have 5 till 6. 5 and 5. G is critical. Oops, and I forgot H on the table, but I will correct it immediately. So we have G, which is one period long from 5 till 5, but it is critical. So we have 5 here. And now we adjust our value here, which is H. And we find H, the time phase and the cumulative budget. So now H is three periods from six till eight, and we find the last element here, which is for H, also five, five, five. So this is the Gantt chart that we can use for a lot of uh, applications, also for looking at the people that we are dealing with and the resources allocation. So let's now calculate, we have here, time phase budget, we sum up everything per column. So here I have 15, here I have 10, here I have 10, here I have 10, 10, 10, 5, and finally 5. Now I can calculate the cumulative budget where I'm adding the new period to all the previous ones. So we have 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 70 and 75. And 75 is what we call the budget at completion. Now we can do the same thing for our project when we are in late start position. And then we can adjust the activities and we'll find the planned start and finish dates. And all those curves together will give us the critical path position of the project. 
So that's how we make the Gantt chart, how we put in the project budget. This was another calculation example. I hope you liked it and I hope it clarified what you did before. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next presentations. Thank you and bye-bye.